Hello, Internet. Welcome to Jamil Geral. I am Jamil Silva, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can customize the movie button for the camera Sony RX100 III. Knowing how to, to handle your camera well will improve your experience with it. You can always try to learn new things and make it better, use it better, and take the full advantage of this device. And for the movie button, we have two options available that you can customize. Sometimes we use one and sometimes we can use the other or we can even choose just one of them. Well, uh, let me start showing you. Um, I don't remember which one uh, is a, a factor setting, but I'm going to show you what I have here. Well, let me turn on the camera. Uh, the way things are in here, if I just press the bottom menu, uh, the bottom to record, the camera will start recording. And once I press it again, the camera will stop recording. The way it is, uh, it will obey the, the, the settings that you, you are using in a shooting mode. For example, in here, I am using manual mode. Then all the configurations of the settings will be applied to the recording option. But uh, if I am using, for example, shutter speed, aperture priority, P mode, or even if I am using the automatic mode, if this is uh, set for that, every time I press the movie button, it will start recording, obeying the, the settings and will press again and it will stop recording. Well, uh, this way bothers me a little bit because when I am shooting, every time I hit the button, it will record, it start recording and sometimes uh, I, I'm not aware of that. Sometimes I press this button without uh, even knowing that I press because the buttons are here are so close to each other, they're so small. And sometimes you press this button uh, just by chance, even though you don't want to record. And sometimes you press it and you, you, you don't realize that you press this button and then we'll take pictures and, and you don't know what's happening because it will not take picture in the, when it's recording. And then you'll, you, you'll have to see what's going on here and then stop recording again and then you, you will start uh, taking pictures. This is uh, this bothers me uh, just a little bit because of that because sometimes you can press it, press this button and will we start recording without realizing that you press this button. So uh, the only advantage that I can think of about this option is that if you are taking pictures and recording at the same time, it's going to be very easy to do that. You are taking pictures and then you want to to record short videos about where you are, then you press here and it will obey the, the settings that you already have set for this camera and, and then it will be easier. So let, let's uh, customize for the other option. Well, let's press menu. In menu here we have the custom settings. Let's press here in the middle to set OK. And in the fourth option here, we have movie button. Let's press Okay, and we have two options in here. Always, this is the, the configuration that I was explaining before. You are taking pictures and you can record at the same time. But let's press down here and choose the option movie mode only and press OK. Let's get out of here. Let's press menu to get out of here. And now, with this option, I will not record if I press here. If I press here, I have the message uh, saying that this is invalid because I am not in movie mode. To record uh, using this mode, you have to dial here as I am in manual mode. I have to dial to the movie options, memory recall, movie options. In the movie options, you have here uh, to press OK. Now you can choose, for example, M for manual. Let's change the wheel. You can choose S for shutter speed priority, aperture priority, or P, P mode, pro program mode. Once you choose the one you want, I'm going to choose manual. You press in the middle, and then you set. You're going to set everything you want here: exposure, values, everything. You have to reset things. 
And now if I press record, because I am in the recording mode, now if I press the button record, it will start recording, but will not take pictures. To stop recording, I will press here again, and it will stop recording. Well, the, 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 the great advantage of this system is that when you are in recording mode, you, you, you are aware of it. And you, you're going to use this mode only to take, only to record movies. And then you can, you will, if you press here, you will not take pictures because it's, it's the, the movie mode. But even though you, you, if you are recording in either option, it will not take pictures if you are recording. So, uh, now the great, uh, dis the great disadvantage of this system is that every time you want to take pictures, you have to come here in the wheel and dial to where you are, if it's manual, share speed, aperture, P, or even the automatic modes. And I think this is a great disadvantage because you have to do this all the time. Now I am in the manual mode, I have to press OK. Now I want to uh, record movies again, I have to go and dial to the movie options and I have to press OK, select the mode that I want, press OK, and then we have it. So if you are taking pictures and recording short movies at the same time, I don't think this is the option for you. Uh, it's better leaving always because you, you can press here and take pictures at the same time. You take pictures, record short movies, and then stop recording. In this mode, it's only for uh, taking movies. If you are out and this camera will be your camera to shoot only to record movies, this option will be great for you because you, you, it's easy for you to choose between the modes from manual, from aperture, shutter, and this is totally independent. The settings that you have in the manual mode will be different here when you are in recording movies. You have to uh, have different settings in here because it will not uh, use the settings that you were in the previous mode. And so, uh, this is it. Here you have two options in the, the video mode. Always to always press the button while you are recording. You, you don't need to dial here to recording options. And you have the, 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 the option for uh, the shooting mode only. It means that you have to dial here and choose the recording option. Now you, you have uh, these two options to choose. Which one is your favorite one? Uh, I think both of them are good. It depends on the situation that you are with, uh, that you are at. So, uh, for example, the other day I was in the boat taking pictures and shooting at the same time. So I left in the always mode because it was uh, very hard work to keep changing here all the time. And maybe you can even damage the camera because it will keep dying here back and forth all the time. So if you are taking pictures and recording, at the same time, it's better leaving always. But if you are only engaged in recording, maybe it's better to uh, set here to recording option only. And, and this way you will not press here unconsciously and you'll be aware of when you want to record, uh, record a movie and when you want to take pictures. Well, this is it for now. This was the, the episode uh, showing how you can customize the the, the, the move button here for the camera Sony RX100 Mark III. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And maybe you want me to explain something about something else about this camera, you can, you can ask me uh, down there. And maybe you can like this video or subscribe to the channel. And I hope you to see you in, a, in our next video. Bye bye. Cheers, mate.